Hey everyone, it's Lauren Dimmitt Waters with Fountain of 30. And yes, I know I'm wearing my sunglasses indoors and there's a reason why. I have allergies so bad this spring that I am sneezing so hard and I blew a blood vessel in this eye over the weekend. I look like I have blood coming from my eye. It's disgusting. There's nothing I can do about it, but wait for it to go away. And I'm that vain and I don't want you to see it. I have showed a couple pictures on Instagram, but anyway, that's why I'm wearing sunglasses. But also I'm wearing sunglasses because they protect your eyes. And we're going to talk about sun safety. I just got back from having my annual mole full body scan for moles. Mole check. Make sure that I don't have any skin cancer. I'm getting moles little moles all over my body and i didn't notice any of them looking weird or discolored or not round so from my eye it, everything looked okay but i like to go to the dermatologist and have this done and actually it's my husband believe it or not that keeps up on it um he is completely neurotic about it he's he's sort of um well thank god his his hypochondria is <laughs> works in my benefit <laughs> works to my benefit so he keeps on me about my making sure i go to my dentist twice a year and that I get my mold check. I do do my annual physical on my own, uh, all that kind of stuff. I do my mammogram. I mean, I remember to do all that, but he keeps on me about doing a full body scan. It's really important to do that, especially since you can't see what's going on in your back. It only takes like 20 minutes and it's really important. Now, if you're like me and you're uh, a victim of the uh, byproduct, I say of the eighties, you probably, well, at least I laid out a lot. I, in the summer, I needed to be as dark as I possibly could. I was so tan, and I would sometimes even lay on blacktop with an album cover covered in tinfoil. And I wore uh, baby oil or maybe an, a two or four SPF, but it had to be an oil so it would be shiny and glisten so that it would attract more sun so I'd get darker. <sighs> Uh, somewhere along the line, I finally realized that after I'd had a couple moles removed and, and um, to embrace my paleness or to fake, you know, I don't even, I've never fake baked. I can't do, I'm allergic to those things anyway, but I, I will use like a, a lotion, a self tanning lotion. I'm big on those. Other than that, I just embrace my paleness. Uh, since my early thirties, I've been wearing SPF and now I don't leave the house without it. And even if I go out in the sun, which I do love. I mean, I love sun, but I, I wear a hat. I wear sunglasses. I have SPF all over my body. If I go swimming, I'm wearing a swim shirt. I look like a dork. I don't care. I sit in the shade and uh, I might let my legs get a little bit of sun, but I still have at least 30 SPF on. So I've kind of gone the other way, uh, but the damage has been done. The sun damage I did when I was younger, it's coming out. I've got some sunspots that I cover on my face or I get lasered off. It's just you know, you got, luckily I'm noticing kids today and I say kids, meaning literally children know to put on SPF. They get out of the pool and it's so amazing for me to watch them actually put it on. So at least they're learning from our mistakes, but please remember to, it's important that you get these things checked because skin cancer ain't no joke. So go get your annual full body mold check scan done. Call your dermatologist and have it done. Okay. That is my little reminder for the day. Have a great day, everyone. We'll talk soon. And hopefully I won't be wearing glasses. Bye.